Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, I wanted to do a fun video. This is basically going to be my review of the Steven Seagal versus Tommy Lee Jones knife fight scene in Under Siege. So I've seen it many times. I uh, hope to take a, a fresh new look at it, all right, and uh, share with you my thoughts, okay? So uh, Steven Seagal begins with a huge disadvantage where Tommy Lee Jones has a pistol on him. So Seagal uses his verbal distraction skills to talk about what is bothering or what is annoying Tommy Lee Jones' character. And uh, it's very interesting here because Seagal calls him Sir. So uh, Seagal's character is a former Navy SEAL and Tommy Lee Jones is a former CIA agent. And uh, they make it clear that they have seen each other before. So I am assuming that Seagal, uh, I guess, uh, worked for him. You know, something like that. And, uh, you know, that just makes me think, wouldn't it have been a lot more interesting if the guy was like, uh, the guy, I mean, Tommy Lee Jones was Seagull's uh, commanding officer in the Navy SEALs instead? You know, I, th I think it would have been a little bit more formidable. Uh, the only problem is uh, then they probably needed to cast a different person because Tommy Lee Jones is much more believable as an ex-CIA agent than an ex-Navy SEAL. Uh, the only problem here is, uh, as an ex-CIA CIA agent, Tommy Lee Jones is excellent, but um, the outfit that he's wearing really does not help him look elite. Like, if you've seen um, Tommy Lee Jones, in like, for example, The Fugitive or something like that, I mean, he wasn't CIA there. I think he was FBI, but I mean he acted awesome. I mean, that's how I would expect a real FBI agent to be. Um, yeah, so so in this one, the outfit really, really kills it. I know he's in disguise and everything, but it, it really hurts it. Um, so anyway, uh, so Seagal kicks a gun out of Tommy Lee Jones's hand and shoves him over some kind of post. And then uh, Tommy Lee Jones happens to see uh, a butcher knife nearby, so he grabs it, and then Seagal takes out his own combat knife, and uh, they're they're gonna go at it. It's gonna be a knife versus knife fight. Um, the interesting thing to note is that they are both holding the knife in the reverse grip, aka ice pick grip, and that Seagal has the knife side forward, while Tommy Lee Jones has the knife side to the back. All right, and uh, the camera focuses mostly on Seagal at this point. And, uh, you know, he's doing this kind of like his trademark, you know, the, the hands like this and the camera. It's, it's like they don't want to show what he's actually doing, you know. And uh, I think this was maybe the beginning of that. From here on, Seagal starts to do that quite, quite often, I think. Um, uh, before in his older films, he didn't do this kind of thing. Uh, or if he did, I don't think it was this bad. You know, you could actually see the Aikido techniques or modified Aikido techniques and it was really cool. But then, you know, that, that kind of disappeared and he seemed to really be into this kind of filming style. All right. Um, all right. So then, uh, let's see. So the camera mainly focuses on Seagal and Seagal is, is dominating as usual. He's getting his stats and slashes in and uh, it looks to me like for some reason, Tommy Lee Jones has the exact same knife fighting style, which just means that the choreographer was the same person, which, you know, that's, I think they could have done a better job maybe with that. Um, and uh, it, it's just that he's, he's obviously physically, Steven Seagal is very uh, imposing. And then skill wise, he looks better. So then what does Tommy Lee Jones's character have to offer at this point? You know, um, you kind of want to see the main character in trouble. You kind of want to have that kind of suspense. There's none here, absolutely none. Um, all right, and then we see Tommy Lee Jones taking a rolling, spinning fall, which shows his speed and agility, and not bad for a guy his age. Um, so his athleticism, I, I think, is pretty impressive for a regular guy, though. So because it doesn't look like it came from any kind of martial arts or combat sports training. All right, it just kind of looks awkward, but like I said, for a regular guy, I think I think it's it's like, wow, he's, you know, I guess he's pretty fit for his age, you know, that but you know, he, ah, so 
you know, I, uh, what, what can I say? And, uh, and then they end up in a grappling situation where Tommy Lee Jones gets a small cut on Seagal's brow. It's basically, you know, where, where they're holding each other's wrists like this, where, where the knife is in this hand. So you got the knife like this and then holding it like this and same on the other hand. Um, so uh, okay, so he gets a he, he gets a he scores a small cut on the brow, and then uh, it seems like Seagal is trying to prevent the same thing from happening. I guess is the strategy here, but to me, film wise, it doesn't really come across that 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 good. Like it's it's not shot right. I guess the editing uh, or look, that's a little harsh. Let me say maybe they could have done a, a, a different a different type of filming. Uh, the editing because it just looks like basically Seagal like turns into a shark and just chomps on the blade and then Tommy Lee Jones you see his hand let go and I, I don't think that is what was supposed to happen but like like so I'm giving a strategic explanation here you know was to stop that that cut that he got on the bro on the brow to for that to happen again so he just kind of blocks it by you know controlling it with his teeth and then he just like shoves his thumb right into uh, Tommy Lee Jones's eye and then immediately after that stabs him into the crown and then gets him in some kind of arm lock looks like it could have been a wrist control coming from his Aikido background and just slams Tommy Lee Jones's head into some controls and of course there's like electrical like a small maybe a small explosion but you know you you, you see that kind of effect going on there so that's the finish right there Super brutal finish right there. Typical Steven Seagal, you know, just uh, that that he kind of became known for for his like brutal, brutal uh, action scenes like that. Uh, personally, I kind of wish Tommy Lee Jones's character uh, like happened to be just happened to be a knife fighter, and he had his own special knife instead of he just grabbed the butcher knife or something like that, and then he could have his own style and go against Seagal, and we get to see. Uh, you know, a, a little bit more intricate uh, knife fight. Look, I'm not complaining, okay? I'm, I'm not complaining because, for one, they they do that for you, fortunately, in in the sequel, all right? You get to see a guy who is uh, ex-military, I believe, and that dude is a lot more opposing to me. I think uh, he, he actually did a really good job of facing Seagal, and he looked very confident with the knife. He looked very confident, and... Uh, you know, he goes head to head to head against Steven Seagal, and so if you if you want to see that, that's one of the reasons why I really like the sequel. The the last fight scene was a little bit better, uh, it, in my opinion. Um, actually, I, I enjoyed that a lot more, uh, a lot better. But uh, look, I'm I'm gonna give them credit in the first Under Siege because you know this was I think knife fight scenes are rare enough in Hollywood, at least back in the day. And it was also cool to see them actually, if they were going to go uh, knife versus knife, that they were actually using the reverse, you know, grip, ice pick grip. So I, I thought it was cool. I just, I just kind of wish that it was, it was shot a little differently, but, uh, you know, it's, it's still cool. So, all right. So that's, that's, I guess my, uh, my review of the fights of, of that knife fight scene. And, and I guess some of my thoughts, what I thought about it. So, uh, anyway, if you haven't seen it, you can find a clip on YouTube and you could just watch that. As kind of a refresher, I'm sure you've seen the movie. So anyway, uh, check it out, and thank you for watching, and take care, folks.